Okay, let's see how fast I can do this. All right, so the police or whoever did that killed Chris Dorner. They murdered him, as far as I can tell. Uh, the sheriff guy who says we did not intentionally burn down the cabin that Chris Dorner was in is obviously lying because he said he said himself that he, at first they used non-incendiary uh, gas and then they used incendiary uh, tear gas. So what did he think was going to happen when he used incendiary tear gas? Uh, I think we all know the answer to that. Okay, so this whole this whole Chris Dorner thing is pretty weird, and I wasn't sure what was going on. But now that the couple who say they were uh, you know tied up uh, by Chris Dorner and you know he took his took their car. They said that he said that he was just trying to clear his name. Okay, so up until that point, I didn't, I couldn't tell what was happening. But once they said that, and it sounds like that's for real, that that's what he said, then this whole thing doesn't make sense anymore. How do you clear your name by murdering police officers and, you know, just anybody? How, do you, how does that clear your name? Okay, so that doesn't make sense. And to be at that point saying that this was just an effort to clear his name either means one of two things. One, that he was insane, and that's still a possibility. <laughs> or two, which seems more likely to me now, that he was being set up. He's a real officer who, who was... Uh, you know, uh, bucking the system, you know, standing up for people's uh, right to not have their heads bashed in, and uh, that got him booted. So, I could see that part being real. That part makes sense to me. Okay, but from there, once he's kicked off the force, I'm thinking what he probably did was try to write to the media. All right, so that's where you, maybe you get that manifesto thing. So from that point, once the media gets their hands on this so-called manifesto, and since I think they're all in cahoots, they probably said, well, okay, here we, here we go. Natural, uh, natural false flag, ready to go. All they have to do is add a few things, crazy things, to his manifesto. Probably wasn't a manifesto. He's probably just trying to tell the media what's up. And th so they add the crazy stuff, like, I'm going to kill everybody, whatever it is, you know. And then at the end, there's like, oh, I love Hillary Clinton. and all, You know, what? Really? That's, no. Okay, that stuff's foolish. That doesn't make sense if he's crazy. Okay, but if he's not crazy, and they just added this junk on top of his real letter, and then they went out and shot, now this is a theory, and then they went out and shot the people that he might have had a beef with, now, guess where he is, this real person? He is in deep shit. What would you do? I mean, this is like a movie. You know, now he's, now you have to run because you can't, <laughs> what else would you do? Okay, so now he's running. So if, if this theory is, makes any sense, and then, then he's running and trying to, you know, just try to survive at that point, what else are you going to do? And that makes the point where he had these people hostage, or not hostage, but, had them tied up and saying that he's trying to clear his name, then it makes sense. Okay? So it's either one or two, one or the other. He's crazy or he got set up. And, but either way, this turns into a perfect false flag for the government who want to take your guns and impress upon you how crazy uh, gun owners are and throw veterans into the mix and, you know, disgruntled police officers, everybody, throw them right in there, you know, and then uh, trot out all all your uh, thugs in black uniforms <laughs> running through the snow and impress everybody with the power that they have and make you feel that you're being protected, okay, Big Brother's got you covered, you're good, okay, so that's a big false flag either way.
I see it. All right, and that brings me to my next point is that the media is our biggest problem. Uh, before I was thinking, you know, several videos back, I'm thinking, okay, if we were going to try and change this, what we'd have to do is go after the people who benefit, and that'd be like the bankers and that kind of that stuff. And by go after, I mean uh, harass them with uh, smelly concoctions that you throw on their lawn. You know, something peaceful, right? Something like that. You know, throw dead fish in, into their car or something. <laughs> It's the only thing I can think of. Because we're not going to do a mass action. We're just too dumb. Okay, so I was thinking, okay, get the people to benefit. But the problem with that is every, when there's any event at all, the bankers aren't out there spinning things and making you believe this or that. It's the media is. Okay? And this is a way easier, quote, target for us to combat or, uh, you know, rally against. Because it's a few talking heads. It's just a few talking heads. You know who they are. It's the bankers, I mean, nameless, faceless, you know, hiding behind stock options and stuff. But the media, that's a different story. You got Mandis and Pooper out there and uh, uh, crying spilliums. You know, they're just propagandists and they're easy to find. Okay. And uh, for all you non-believers out there, <laughs> the problem with the media is that they can lie to you anytime. And here's what I'm talking about. Uh, you've probably heard of this lawsuit where the, uh, a couple in Florida sued their Fox affiliate that they were working for for getting fired because they didn't want to report the... Uh, they didn't want to report a lie about Monsanto's uh, uh, drug that they make. Okay, they didn't want to lie. So they got fired. Okay, so then they sued. A jury trial uh, awarded these so-called whistleblowers an award. But Fox appealed, and uh, eventually they won. And the ruling is that uh, the FCC... Uh, has a policy against uh, the intentional falsification of the news, which the FCC calls news distortion policy. Okay, but uh, Fox said, okay, that's a policy, but that's not a law. And so the, the court said, yeah, you're right. That's just policy. It's not a law. Okay, so they're not whistleblowing on someone breaking the law, they're whistleblowing on someone breaking policy, which is not against the law. They can do that. Okay, so right there, there is no law against the media lying to you. Okay, there should be, but there isn't. And so, do you think they're telling us the truth, or maybe are they just lying to us all the time? Well, I'm just saying right here that there's there's proof that they can and do lie to you. Okay, that's there's your proof right there. All right, so no matter what happens, what, what type of event, the problem is that we are being led by the nose, by this media. Uh, even if the New World Order trips and falls, they spin it and say terror or incompetence or, you know, they spin it so that they win and, and we just get deceived even more. So my point is that we need to... Instead of marching on Wall Street, instead of, even though the, gov the government is corrupt, marching on them, I think would be a waste of time also, because they just call the police out. Okay? <laughs> you know, and I'm trying to do something that's peaceful, and so I'm thinking of possibly using this, uh, this idea of something smelly on the media. That's what I would do. I'm not personally going to do it. Because I'm talking about it. And if I'm talking about it and it happens near me, then you know, they're going to come knocking at my door. And so I'm, not, I'm definitely not going to do it. I'm not going to do anything. I'm not going to do it. But I'm going to talk about it. I put that idea out there. Okay? And the idea is this smelly uh, concoction that you come up with. 
and you you go to Manderson Pooper's house and you throw you throw it on his lawn. Something basic and simple like that. Or put it under his car tire so it squirts all over everything. <laughs> but so I came up with this idea and I am surprised and but not completely amazed that Israel is doing the exact same thing. Okay, so there is precedent, and apparently it is very effective. Uh, they have what they call uh, the skunk or skunk weapon. It's something that they spray. It's, it's like a non-lethal weapon against crowds, Palestinians. Uh, so it works, and it sticks. It stays in your clothes for five years. I imagine it stays in everything for a long time. So if you can come up with something like that, that might be effective. And target, I'm going to say the media. That's what I would do if I was going to try and combat this bullshit. That's what I would do. Uh, so I want to get that idea out there. Combat the media instead. And there's, you know, there's other ways to do it. You can call them out when, they're, when you find that they're lying. That's good. Excellent. Do that. So we're doing that here, uh, here on YouTube, but I don't think that has a big effect because not everybody's on YouTube, and even if you're on YouTube, maybe you're watching something stupid or irrelevant. <laughs> Hold on a minute. So I need to do something with impact, and uh, that would have an impact. So they killed Chris Dorner. Whether he was for a real person, I think he was. Uh, whether he was crazy, I don't think he was. They they for sure killed him. On purpose. And the media, you know, they're not they're not going to say that the cops didn't kill him on purpose. No. Okay. So, whatever happens, the media is there to spin it, just like in They Live. The media is where you got to, uh, you've got to nip that in the bud. Yeah, I don't see uh, big action coming. Yeah, we wouldn't have had big actions. Like, yeah, if there was no media doing what they do now, spinning and stuff, we would have, this would have been cleared up a long time ago. There would have been riots in the streets or at least giant marches, you know. And this just plain wouldn't have happened. This crazy occult government conspiracy gulag country that we have now, we, it wouldn't be this way. Okay. Enjoy that theory, those theories and uh, scenarios and stuff. Okay, bye.